Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's NG Paradox, and we're now into January. This means that we're kind of well into the way of the season. It's pretty obvious now, we're not going to have any surprises, no amazing things happening, but it looks as though we're going to beat the media prediction. We're going to do what needs to be done. That is so far. Obviously, anything can happen, but at the moment, it's looking like we're going to do what we need to do. Um, the last month was not a great month. We had a time of injuries and suspensions once again. Been very frustrating trying to get our team to actually uh, not be suspended and not have injuries. Sarpong is suspended again. If we go over the last month just very quickly, our last time we were here, we played against da -da 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 -da, Southport. So we played against Southport. It was nil-nil. I've said this before. I don't know what it is when I record. When I record, it's normally some of the most boring or just we don't do a good performance games that we have. The last kind of fun one that we had, I think, was the Forest Green one, and that was a draw, just one all. But it was good because, you know, Kim scored that last-minute goal. But since that match, we played quite a few matches in the last month. It was not a great month, though. After that game, we played against Woken. Uh, Woken, we managed to win at home 2-0. So a good win. <coughs> ah, sorry. We needed the points here. It's very good to have this. Um, our main striker, Aaron, was obviously injured for a bit. So Junior was still playing. He scored a goal. And then Michael Ashton scored a second goal. Jack Batten got injured. So we had an injured Jack Batten for quite a while. Really not what we needed. We don't need our best players to be injured if we want to do if we want to have a good season. After that, we played against Salford. I was hoping we could beat Salford. Salford are a team like us. They've come up into this league. They're part-timers. But in the end, we lost 2-1, as you can see here. Um, they played quite well. Billy Murphy did score a goal, but they just they just played better. I mean, I had to give it to them. A lot of players, a lot of fans there for this match. Look at 1,500 for Salford. That is pretty nice. Yeah, they just got promoted up just like us. That's a lot of people, huh? I don't think we're, we're not rival. We don't even live near each other. It's not like our stadiums are near each other, so not particularly sure why. They must have a lot of fans. I wish we had that many fans, but yeah. Uh, going back to the fixtures, though, so that was Salford. After that, we played in the FA Trophy first round. We played against Dartford. Um, ended nil-nil. Really stupid. We really should be winning that. 17 shots that we had, 7 on target. We, we couldn't get a goal. I don't know what was going on. Dartford are in the league below us. It's a game we should be winning. So we had to have a repeat of that, which again is not all we need. We got players injured, and it's just meaning we have to play more games. So we played them at home next in the replay, and we lost 1-0. 16 shots, only 3 on target. They had 8, and they scored 1 goal in the 71st minute. An absolute disaster here. You know, Dartford aren't a bad team, but they are in the lower league than us. You know, it would have been nice to go further in the competition just to get more money. That's really it. I just want to be in the FA Trophy and the FA Cup so we can just get more money. So we can go professional, maybe, if we don't get promoted. Obviously, the easiest way to go professional is just get promoted. If you go to League 2, you have to, I think, go professional. It's part of the league rules. But that's really difficult when you're semi-professional. Really important to try and get that professional status. We just need a lot of money. It's the only way. But we don't have that. After that game, we played against Torquay. And we lost 1-0. So going away from that very disappointing FA Trophy games, we then go into this match. And Torquay beat us. They did perform better, I think, overall. A, a draw would have been nice. But they scored in the 13th minute. And we never could get back into it. After that, though, we played against Tranmere. Now, this game had something a little bit special. In this month, I was actually offered a job by Tranmere. So Tranmere actually offered me the, the, the manager job at Tranmere Rovers. And Tranmere Rovers are a really good club in this league. Like, they've been stuck down here. You can see they've been fourth, third, and sixth. So they've always been in that kind of, like, looking for promotion team. And you can see from their history, they used to be in, like, the championship. And they've slowly been going down ever since. So they, they have a lot of history, obviously. Um, not with trophies, but, you know, they've been in leagues above recent, in recent times. 
They have good facilities. Um, their reputation is much better than most teams in this league. Um, they have you know a lot of money, apparently, or the club is worth a lot of money. There's a lot of things that make me want to join this team. 16,000 capacity stadium. That's what I mean. There's lots of things about this club that could make them kind of tasty to join in. And obviously, they're professional. Very tempting. Very tempting. But at the time, we were like two places below them. So I, I kind of felt we had to stay with Bath. If they were like in the top, if they were like going for the playoffs, I would have been really tempted. They were like in the top five teams and they could get a playoff position. I'd have been really tempted to jump on the Tranmere Rovers. But in the situation they are when they're 17th at the moment, and I forget the time they were 16th, it, it just wasn't for me. But that is something that came about. And it does show that my reputation is rising up. I mean, getting us promoted, getting Bath City promoted, and now we're keeping them in the league. Not many people would have expected this. Um, not many people would have expected that. So I'm not really surprised that we're getting kind of picked up by some bigger teams, though not not massively bigger, you know, in the same league. So in this game, we had quite a lot of people here at the stadium, almost 1,400 people. You can see the away fans are always the big part. We don't have lots of fans at our stadium, but we need the other teams who are big come to our team. Uh, this game, Sarpong was suspended, so we couldn't have Sarpong, so we changed to go the attacking midfield role for Ashton. Uh, Williams came back, I think, for this game. And as you can see, he scored two goals. So we really need Williams. Williams, I really like him. He's a really good free transfer that we got. Very impressed with him over this season, even though he's been injured a couple of times. But so far, quite happy with him. Uh, Chaz Hemmings also missed a penalty. You can see they had lots of shots, though. It really could have gone... It could have gone the other way around. It could have been a terrible game, but for somehow we were just a clinical team. Tranmere just couldn't get through our defense. We were making them do lots of long shots. Um, so yeah, very happy this game. It was a game we needed to win. Bigger team than us, and it helped us kind of catch up with them. And I think it kind of proves... I, need, I needed to win that match to prove the people who probably thought I was crazy for, you know, Tranmere, the board, were probably thinking I was crazy turning them down. They're like, you're a Bath City. You know, we, we used to be a big club. You guys are just... This is like... The highest you've ever been is the National League. But I turned them down. We needed to beat them. So I'm very happy I beat them to prove to them why I'm sticking with Bath. They're only one position above us. And we've got a game in hand. So today's match is against Aldershot. Now Aldershot are doing quite well in the league this season. Seventh at the moment. Last season they came sixth. So they've been having a pretty good time. They were a bit lower like in the area we are now. So that does show we can jump up. You know, they were in a similar position as us except for they're professional. But still, you know, you never know. You never know. Let's jump into the match. Now, for this game, Sarpong is still suspended. So we are still doing this formation. I don't really like this formation particularly, um, especially against a team like Aldershot, where, we, you know, they're, they're probably better than us. But still, we're going to stick with this formation. Uh, Williams up front, he's back. Um, Kim is coming to midfield because uh, Kuya is actually on international at the moment. So... He's gone to play for Afghanistan. We can't use him. In defense, we've got Hemmins here um, because Batten is still injured. How long has he got? Four to six weeks. So you can see it was pretty bad injury. I've had quite a bad time for Batten and Williams, two of my favorite players this season. You know, Batten obviously was our player of the season last year. So it's very sad to see him get injured. But Hemmins has come in. Leyland's at the back as well. Not really Leyland's preferred place, but I, I trust Aaron Barnes on the side. We'll have to wait and see. Can Kim, can he, you know, step up to the plate and be in a first team? I'll we'll have to wait and see. We'll keep things as they are, and we're going to jump in. Crossing my fingers. Now, we're seven points away from the relegation zone, so we're not in desperate need of any wins. I, I feel kind of comfortable. I really don't feel we're going to fall down into the relegation zone. I, I feel quite safe from the performances our team have put in. But it can always happen. Um, do we still have a game in hand to them? Yeah, we also have a game in hand to them. If we can win this game, we're then 10 points away from relegation. And I would say we're safe then. I would, <laughs> Obviously, we're not completely safe. But I would definitely feel safe. Because we should be getting more points as the season goes along. Let's challenge, let's challenge them to pick off where they left off. Yeah, they did a really good game last time. Let's be passionate. Because it's quite a big team. Ooh, let's get revenge. Yeah, let's get revenge against them. Everyone always likes that. Yeah. Revenge against Aldershot. 
And we're playing at home, so look at all the fans. Look at them. I mean, probably a lot of them are from Aldershot, because we usually... <laughs> As you can see last time, there are quite a few fans from the away. I mean, Tram had 500 people away. That means 800 were ours. So they almost had as many fans as we did in our game. Um, that, that just shows you our position right now. And that just shows you how many fans Tranmere have, though, because, like I said, they, they were doing quite well not that long ago. I feel quite bad to see them stuck in this league, but it just shows you how hard it is to get out this league. I should be putting this on extended. There we go. But it does show you how hard it is to get out this league. You can have some really good teams just get stuck down in the National League because there's just only two places to get up. I mean, we were luck we were kind of lucky last season to get out of the South Division because obviously we came fifth. You know, we didn't have a good end of season. Well, actually, the end of season was good, but we didn't have like a good second half season. So we only just well, we didn't just get in the post, but you know, we didn't do well. We came fifth. You know, fifth place. Should have the least chance of getting promoted through the playoffs. But we managed to do it. Still not exactly sure how. They played so well during those last games. I think maybe our players just play well. Maybe under pressure. Maybe like in those big games. That's how I feel. Murphy now of a corner. Ooh, okay. Didn't get to anyone. You know, Aldershot defenders managed to get out. But Williams has the ball now. Back to Murphy. Tried to get it back in. But Williams gets it again. An odd... Um, try there by Williams. I'm not sure if that was a really terrible cross or if he really was shooting. I think he was shooting. Oh, Ashton. I mean, I don't think it was going in anyway, but a decent effort. You know, put it in the air a bit, make it a bit difficult for the goalkeeper. There we go. He heading it back into the center. Defender. There we go. Leyland gets it. Somehow gets it to Kiernan. Not a great pass or kick out by him. Murphy loses it when he's Trying to dribble again, as usual. Murphy, just pass. Please, just pass. You're really good at passing, you know. Oh, and there we go. Ashton with a chance. <gasps> yes, great job, Ashton. He was completely left open there by the defense. What were those defenders thinking? They should have closed in on him. Look at this. Watch this. See, with the ball in from ball, Williams, I think, gets a little head to it. And Ashton's just left open. And you can see the defenders looked a bit unsure. I think a few of them thought he was already going to shoot. And they were kind of like, it's already too late. And Ashton just kicked it. Maybe a bit too much power, but I guess he wanted to make sure. I was a little bit worried he was going to completely miss and just hit it wide or too high. Murphy again, trying to dribble. Murphy, please do not dribble. Please don't dribble. We've got the win at the moment. So if we can get this, it looks as though Southport are winning their game. So it looks like the team in the playoff position, uh, sorry, the relegation spots. Oh, what a great save there by Kishka. Thank you, Kishka. That was a great save. See, this is why whenever I watch the games, Kishka always makes some great saves. He always does really good at those moments. One-on-ones and his reflexes. Usually when they score, it's normally something you can't help. We've been doing well, yeah. Calm, just... Get everyone, you know, get, don't get them too excited, you know, you don't want them to get complacent. Just keep it steady. I'm pleased, you know, just get them and say, I'm pleased with how you're doing. Keep it up, you know, do exactly what you're doing, boys. That's what I'm like. Uh, when it comes to kind of the team talks, I know a lot of people might tell me how I should do the team talks. And I understand and I definitely will listen. But for me, I'm kind of taking this manager position as what would I do? What would I say? And I'm normally more of a calm manager. That's why you'll notice, oh, great save again. You'll notice I'm usually clicking the calm. Um, I don't usually like to be aggressive. I'm not a hairdryer manager, some people might call it. Good, good get out there. Okay, come on. Yes, good job there, Kim. See, Kim is doing better than Murphy, I think. Uh, Williams, okay. No, no highlight for us, apparently. Nope. Okay, fine, fine. Just don't give us anything, fine. We are getting a lot of the ball, though, so I'm quite happy. Though Aldershot are getting a lot of shots. And this is a really bad... Oh, thank you. That is a bad position to give a free kick. Not good at all. And it looks like there's not many fans here today. I think it was like 800, possibly. So not a big game today, which is a shame. We do want that money. Okay, come on, guys. Yes, good job. Good job, Kishka. Whew, we managed to... Oh, we're getting them shots, but they're always quite far away. Yeah, only 800 people for today's match, which is not great. We need to get to get some fresh legs in here. 
Let's go with Rig. Rig, Kim is looking good though, but he's looking more tired than Billy. He does seem mo. I I'm going to bring on. I'm going to take him off. He's too tired. Uh, George Rig will come on. Yeah, you can say Central. We'll bring on Charlie for Josh. No, Hem they're both tired, but Hemmings is looking a bit nervous. Leyland seems to be playing well, yeah. And we'll bring on... We haven't really got a winger right now. But Ashton, we haven't really got anyone who can play his position apart from him. Basically, it's just Ashton and Sarpong. We can play defensive midfield and attacking midfield that I trust. Let's take off Aaron Williams. He's not been able to score a goal. We'll bring on Junior. Yeah, we'll do this. And we'll put him to poacher. So we've got quite a few of our players up forward with Ashton behind him. So maybe going a bit more of a poacher role. Oh, okay. Kishka doing really well today. Really happy to see that. If we win this game, he should definitely get man of the match. Ashton did get that winning goal, but I'd have to give it to Kishka. Great defending. It's the only reason we'll win this. Because we've not been making anything of anything so far. Kick it back out, Cole. Let that be the end of the highlight. Nope, the highlight is going to continue. That does not fill me with confidence. Because it looked like we had the highlight, but I guess there wasn't really any proper shot. Rig got the ball back. Okay, Murphy's got the ball. Ashton tried to get it to Hunter. was not a great pass there. Rig again. Up to Ashton. Okay, back. Murphy. Hunter. We haven't seen Hunter do much this game. Rig. Up to Ashton. Ah, oh, Ashton. Could have got a second goal. Would have been very proud of him in that situation. Rig now the corner. We haven't seen much of Rig. Rig has not played much this season. And I used to usually prefer to use him as a, a right back. Um, just because he could play there as well. And we had lots of midfielders. But because we've now got Leyland and Barnes. He's probably never going to play in the right back. <coughs> he's probably never going to play in the right back position. <sighs> See we are getting shots. And we are getting a lot of possession. So I'm not sure if I want to go contain. Because I don't want to just fall completely defensive and just bring them on to us and then it just gives them the opportunity. And Morias there just throws it over the goal. I don't know where he's going. I don't know what he's looking at. Murphy down there to Ashton. Ashton, come on. You gotta do but see this is the Ashton just makes sometimes some small mistakes. A bit of a risky move there by the defender. Could have given a penalty away, but we were we were good. I think we have to just go contain after this highlight. Don't they desk? If they score now, I'm going to be pissed because I'm about to click on contain after this highlight. No, no, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Contain. I have to. We have to get this win. They're getting too close. We're not getting that. We're not getting good chances. We're getting chances, but they're not good. But here's their highlight. What's it going to be? Don't you dare. Come on. That's it. Morias. Get it out to someone. Just hold the ball. Kinnan didn't get the ball. It's gone straight to them. This is a really bad position. Ah. Oh. Thank you, thank, thank you that that guy is terrible at passing or crossing. Whatever he was trying to do. Another ball in. Don't you dare. Don't. Oh, I hate deflections. Deflection. Whenever you see a deflection, it almost always goes in because the goalie cannot predict it. Kiernan now another ball in. Since I put it on contain, we've had a lot of highlights. Damn. So I've not felt good. I've not felt good at all. Come on, guys. Do this for Bath. Do this for the Romans. Okay, they've got the ball back. Please, please. No! Oh, thank you. Oh, God, I don't think my heart can take this. <laughs> I hate... I love... you got, you got to love-hate relationship with football, you know? It gives you those amazing moments that are always so tense. But again, like I said to you guys before, I think I've said it a few times now, this is why I love Football Manager. It lets you feel that just like you do when you actually watch football. Barnes now. Guess it. Give it a rig. Ashton, Morias, Hunter. Ooh, good defense. Good defensive block there. You got to give him that. I can't complain about that. Hunter now of the corner. We got two minutes left. Two minutes left. Come on, Hunter. Come on. I guess you're wasting time. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Straight to the goalie. It's fine. Hopefully, you wasted a bit of time. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Time, go. Just go down. Go to ninety. What is going on? Is some okay? So we got a free kick apparently. They got a yellow card for Bellamy. Wonder if he's related to Bellamy, who used to play for Liverpool and stuff. 
Okay, no, they've got the ball now. There's only 20 seconds left. Don't you dare hold a shot. Yes, that's it. Get it out of here. Junior, just hold the ball for like 15 seconds. Hold the ball. Just kick it around. Play it safe, Ashton. No, okay. Murphy, good job. Murphy had good eyes there. He saw the ball was left open. He could get it. Ashton, perfect. Good job, guys. You did exactly what needed to be done. I feel pretty good about that. That was a very good performance overall. Um, the goalkeeper has to get man of the match. Really? A see, Ashton? I mean, he played well. He played okay. He got the goal, but Kishka was great. Kishka won us that match completely, I have to say. I feel kind of bad for Kishka. But it looks like this month we probably got quite a few more games as well. January is usually quite a big time for games. Uh, Kuya is on international duty for quite a while. So we're probably not going to see much of him. But I feel quite good about Kim. Kim, I think, can play when Kuya can't. So I guess it's not such a big deal. And uh, for some reason, this has taken a while. Why, why are you taking so long to load? H hello? I hope... <laughs> I mean, it hasn't frozen because this is still going. So I'm assuming it's not frozen. There's so many games today. I guess it's the 1st of January. Is it trying to, like, go f I don't know what's going on. Usually my computer's quite fast. We'll just, uh... There we go. Okay. Uh, that, that was awkward. That was, that was a very awkward time there. Um, finances this month. We lost 7,000. Not terrible, but not great. Um, the competition now, we're now 18th still. We've still got a game in hand compared to quite a few teams. So if we win our next game, we'll actually go past Tranmere. Or if we draw our next game, we'll also go past Tranmere. At the moment, we are seven points ahead of relegation zone. But we've got a game in hand to them. So we could definitely make it to 10. Yeah, I hope we win the next game. Let's see what the next games are exactly, the fixtures. Uh, Macclesfield, Eastleigh, Chester, Dagenrand, and next time we'll be back against AFC Telford. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Again, tell me what you think about having the extended highlights. I'd love to know if you think it's too much, if it goes on for too long, or if you think it's just right. I'd love to know. See you then.